Hey ladies and gents, this is Azuris coming to you with a look at the Mythic Legion's Ogre. This is a first production paint sample and it's here at PowerCon, it's its debut. Um, the way it works is the factory sends it over, it's a production piece, but uh, it's for the approval of the paints and if the Four Horsemen approve this, and I don't see why they wouldn't, this is what the final uh, pieces are going to look like. So it's amazing. It's got a war axe and a lot of intricate paint detail. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. I've seen the test shots of this guy, but actually having him in hand, fully painted, um, it's super duper amazing. So yeah, he, he made his debut at PowerCon. Just feast your eyes and take a look at this. Um, all the rivets painted individually. Um, like I said, I, I don't know. I don't know why they wouldn't approve this because it's one of the most gorgeous, gorgeous figures I've seen. You know, bar none. And I love every single choice um, that was made. And the execution is ridiculously cool. Look at any. He's, he's a cyclops. Um, and he's got with this, this removable helmet. Look at that. Those horns. Um, so he looks cool without the helmet. But I think he looks even cooler with the helmet. So um, the other cool thing about these ogre figures, if, if, in case you're not aware, is that they're larger than your typical mythic legions. That's why they're called uh, ogres. Um, and so a hand of a... Uh, male uh, it, the way this feels in your hand is like you're, it makes you feel like a little kid because this is what it, feel, it would feel like for a little kid to be holding a big chunky action figure so um, it takes you back in that way and um, I just can't say enough good things about him I mean words fail me if you look at that pupil right um, of the eye of the cyclops eye <laughs> It's got a ring around it. It's perfectly executed. Um, the pupil, um, the gloss paint, like around the nostrils and around the mouth, and the you know glistening um, tusks coming up. This is it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. You know the bone with all the subtle shading there down here. Um, the metallics with the um the leather looks like real worn leather the metal looks like you know it's got a rust to it it's like that lived in really believable um look you know kind of like star wars where you see a character and it looks like it's been through some battles it's been through some um you know adventures it doesn't it's not just bright and clean everything is so there's a nice wash um the the shading on the muscles, the cloth goods right here are just exquisitely um, executed. The shading on all these bony protrusions that come out there on the bracers and, you know, on the legs. Just absolutely 100% amazing. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again, but, um, you know, every time I see a new figure or a lot of times when I see a new figure that I'm really excited about I'm like this is my favorite figure in the line and I just can't say enough about it and you know here it goes I know it's not, you know it's not mine yet I haven't got it in my hot little hands but uh, this is gonna be my favorite figure in the line when I open it up it makes you feel like it like a kid you know um, so greatly greatly anticipated I love everything about it. Um, you guys need to, you know, get on board and pick these up because I think this is gonna. These are gonna be super duper popular and in demand. These ogre sized Mythic Legions figures. All right, is the Wiz signing off from PowerCon.